was I giving any tools to uh, to grow up? I've seen a couple of these TikToks and they've been making me laugh because they're making me think of a conversation that I had recently with someone where it was like, what if you have two people who basically have like opposite illnesses? Do you know what I mean? Like, like one of them has digestive issues the other one has like a super solid digestive system one of them has skin problems the other one you know what i mean like have opposite problems to each other and as i was telling this person about this i was just like you could have like a perfect they were like you could have a perfectly sick child and i was like yep and that that right there is the difference between cheerful nihilism and just nihilism <laughs> But it makes me laugh because I really feel like the former is what happened with me with my parents because my dad was a very like a very stoic man he was not a particularly emotional guy he was not a particularly expressive guy unless he was like joking and like telling a story of his that he thought was funny he, he was very much like a, a builder a maker he, he liked to understand things and how they work and get to things on like a more like deep level and he was incredibly principled people might say it was stubborn but he had his principles he had his beliefs and they were immovable and that was something that i remember about him and i remember like earlier in life my dad like encouraging a lot of my more autistic traits like we'd go to the train museum we'd walk on the train tracks he'd tell me it's you know what i mean i know where it came from and then my mom is fucking crazy and in the best way fucking possible like yeah it did it made things incredibly tumultuous throughout life but at the same time my mom is you know female patch adams black mary poppins there is no situation that you can find yourself in with that woman where she will not be able to find a way to make it funny that woman is so fucking skilled at, at optics and at, at you know shifting perspectives that you give her two three people and she'll make a community that people are envious of that people are jealous of homeless homeless children and we'd be telling other kids about our lives and they'd be like man that sounds cool I wish I could have done that and like I know they meant it because I did genuinely feel bad for them that they didn't get to do that my mom is crazy in the way that like she will beat up the school bus driver because you told her that he kicked your boot. I remember one time when I was in third grade, there was a teacher, Madame Manini, who was our, our math teacher. She's a recurring character on this channel. But my mom was in school that day for some reason. I forget why she was there, but it was lunchtime. And Madame Manini was poking on one of my classmates' shoulders like this. And my mom flew off the fucking handle. She grabs this woman by the arm and is like, no, okay, you're, no, because you're going to come with, no, and because you're going to come with me, and we're going to go to the principal's office because I need there to be a witness because don't let me do something and not have there be a fucking witness, okay, because we're going to, we're going to know, okay, we're going to talk. Like, my mom's that kind of crazy. Her, her empathy is feral. The, the amount of shit that that woman's been through to have the amount of kindness that she does in her heart still, it comes with the cost of an absolute inability to tolerate any kind of bullying. She sees that situation and she goes, no, because you're an adult. You are an adult and no. Do you know how scary you are to somebody who's that small? You probably have no idea. You're going to see. You're going to understand what it feels like to be scared today because clearly you needed to be taught fucking love my mom. <laughs> the way that my parents' mental health issues and neurotypes came together to create me is so sinister. I've always had my dad's like self-assuredness, like even since I was like five years old, you know what I mean? Like people would tell me, you'd be a good lawyer, you know that, you really like to argue, don't you? But like, I'm willing to be wrong when I'm wrong. But if you're going to tell me that I'm wrong, prove it. And you know, people have always sort of disliked this trait about me and, you know, people didn't particularly care for it in him either. <laughs> what I get from my mom is, is the audacity and the ability to act quickly. People, okay, I call it like she's crazy, you know what I mean? I say that with love and light. We, we, we have a good relationship, don't worry about it. But it's like, people don't realize that it's like, what may look like crazy to you is really just really creative problem solving. My mom has been on the receiving end of being in a situation where no one stood up for her so many fucking times in her life that she's been able to like 
depersonalize herself from the situation and start studying the dynamics of what happens in a situation where people are, are watching a bad thing happen and not standing up for the person that's being abused. She's been on the receiving end of that kind of abuse so many times that she has like an entire fucking backup system that boots on the second she's in one of those situations again that's like enter analysis mode. And because of that, she can recognize when she's in one of those types of situations as one of the other people. And she can recognize those patterns and the dynamics of those, those spaces because that's what she knows, baby. That is what she's an expert in, unfortunately. That woman does not let it go to waste, though. Like, she, she makes sure to put it to good use. Because she spent so much time learning how to be aware of the types of dynamics and situations where a person is being abused or even just feels abused, because of the fact that she's put so much effort into that, she's... She's particularly good at recognizing when she is in one of those situations and forcing the people around her to just be better people. To just stop poking little children on the shoulder. You're a bus driver. Why are you kicking their boot? You're a grown man. Do you know how scary you are to a kindergartner? And the thing is, is that there are a lot of really bad people who, who are able to get away with the majority of what they get away with because they're willing to take it there. But my mom's fucking craziness is that she's willing to take it there over breakfast. Over, you know what I mean? Just like, just while, while we're driving, right? I'm driving this car, I'll take us there. And my God, has it ever resulted in a chaotic, chaotic being? Holy fuck. The, the white half of me is French. There is just, there is a constant trash pile fire on fire inside of me ceaselessly. And, and my mom's chaotic side is the one who fucking just threw the Molotov. It's every time. And so like I think of the original TikTok and it's like, was I given all of like the tools? You know what I mean? Like did our parents give us the tools and stuff? And it's like, okay, did I get the conventional tools to succeed, to be set up in life? No, of course not. But but I did get all of the specialty tools like I got okay fine maybe everybody else got a full toolbox of like wrenches hammers duct tape WD-40 a saw you know what I mean all of their basic stuff and I'm sitting here with like a, you know a VGA to HDMI splitter you know a block of iron and like a, a cube that holds 40,000 volts of electricity in it constantly like Man, fuck. <laughs> no, they're not the tools that are gonna help me have a regular office job and hang around by the water cooler. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not the tools that are gonna make me good at that, but there are going to be situations in which you are really fucking glad that you had me around. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And so good on them. Good on my parents, I guess, was the whole fucking point of this TikTok, I guess. Jeez, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs>